This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, the professional render service. Hey guys and welcome back. Well, I assume if you're watching this UVing video that you checked out part one where I show you guys how to model this hand grenade. So like I said, in this part we're going to jump in and we're going to UV that guy. Okay, here we go. Right guys, here is where we left off in our last uh, video and what we're going to do in this video for the most part is we're going to UV this guy. I'm not going to um, record every step of this process because this will be a fairly lengthy process. So um, just to get you guys on your way, all right? Now I'm going to start by going to mesh and separate to separate this mesh. So I got this piece, this piece, this piece, this piece, and this piece, and this piece. Uh, specifically because that is the way I want to texture it uh, later on as well. So let's start with our UVing process. I'm going to take this guy and actually what I'll do is I'll take this first, hit control H to hide this as well. So we'll just have to deal with this. Okay, cool. So I'm going to go up to UV and I'm going to go with a cylindrical projection and it already positioned it correctly as you can see. So I'm going to go to UV and UV editor and let's see what we got. Okay, just move this over and move this over and see if that is correct. Well, it's not correct for the simple reason that if you look down here at the bottom here, that's not good. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to right click, we're going to go to edge and let's just turn that off and turn that on. Right click, go to edge and I'm just going to simply take that edge that goes all the way around there or should go all the way around like so and I'll hit four wireframe modes so you can see it and I'm going up here and I'm going to go to cut UV edges so now if I get a shell I should have two shells one is my wrap two and this is my circle actually so we're going to go to unfold which will give us this guy which seems to be in two pieces. So right click edge, select that, go to move and sew, right click shell, seems to be okay. So let's uh, just uh, check that. Yeah, it seems fine. This guy, we'll check that as well. And we need to have a cut seam here and we do. So with this selected, let's uh, do an unfold. And when we do that, we get a shape that's a little bit more rounded, which is exactly what we want. Okay. So these two lay out fine, happy with it. Okay. On to the next. So we're going to go to uh, display show all. And then we'll uh, right click it at this guy, hit control H to hide. Let's see what we'll do next. These we can kind of keep in screen, not too bad. Uh, here, a couple of easy ones. Let's go to UV and do an automatic. So, take that shell, go to unfold, which gives us this. And then we're gonna go in and we're gonna cut it in the middle. I'm going to right click at an edge and we'll take one of these edges all the way around, go to polygons and uh, cut UV edges. And now if you've got a shell and we go to unfold, there we have it. That's it. Okay, cool. So this is a somewhat similar process. Right click object mode, uh, UV automatic projection. We'll go to UV and UV editor. We got all these bits and pieces, got a shell, select everything and go to uh, move and sew, which will create this nice blob here. Right click shell. Then we're going to cut this. Um, but because this is not a continuous loop, we're going to do this one slightly different. Just going to try and get this clean in here. Yep. I'm going to right click at an edge. I'm going to double click on that edge and shift double click on that one and go to cut UV edges. Then we're going to select everything again and go to unfold. Where'd he go? Come on. 
takes a little bit. So let's see what we got here. So down in the corner, we got our little two circles. That's fine. Then we're going to take this guy. We're going to double click on one of these edges, which goes all the way around. And we're going to cut that as well. So now we can go to shell, drag click everything and go to unfold. And that should be a lot better. Let's go to shell. That's that. We've got these two guys. And if we increase the size there, you can see that that's where they're at. Okay. So we got that. Uh, let's see. We'll do one more. Um, let's look at, I don't know, this guy, right? So um, let's go and hide this stuff. Control H, Control H. Control H and Control H. Okay. Now the question to begin with, ooh, that doesn't look nice. The question to begin with is whether we need that bottom part. And I do not think so. But in any case, we're gonna clean this up because it looks horrendous. Okay, so we're gonna go to face. Okay guys, so I cleaned that up. That was a bit of a mess. Uh, so that's all gone. I selected that outer edge right there and I'm gonna go to mesh and fill hole, which will give us a clean face there. Uh, clean in the sense that it's now solid, but it does uh, contain, uh, it's a huge end gone. So we're gonna right click in object mode. We're gonna go to mesh and clean up, which will, um, and hit clean up and it will add triangles, but it's much cleaner than what it was. Okay, cool. So, okay, UV this guy, select it. UV automatic projection, where'd he go? Right there. We're gonna go in UV, UV editor. We get all these different pieces here, and there are a couple of ways to approach this. Uh, but what I typically do is I'll just uh, right click on a shell, drag select everything, go to move and sew and we'll get this huge pile up of junk. Okay, don't worry about it. Then we're gonna go in and let's see, we'll start cutting some faces here, hang on. So I'm gonna right click at an edge. I'm gonna select that bottom edge. Just minimize that here. Okay guys, so I selected the uh, bottom edge there. Uh, we'll just open this up. I'm gonna go uh, to uh, cut UV edges. So now if I right click on a shell, I should have two shells. I'll select this one and go to uh, unfold, which will give that bottom shape there. And then we'll move that guy out of the way for a sec. We'll take the rest of our huge blob and let's see where we want to cut that. We don't have a top here, so that's okay. What we will do is we'll cut it over one of these edges here. So I'm gonna right click at an edge. And let's see if that will work for us. I think so. So let's go to cut UV edges once again. Right click shell. We should now be able to unfold this. And there you go. And that is okay by me, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna finish the parts that um, we didn't do uh, just yet. And then in the next video, we'll start to texture, okay? See you then.